five years now, I have never once wanted to leave the school. I beg my parents to let me stay here when we move homes. I truly believe that this school is great for supporting our students, and that if you are dedicated to a goal, Heathcote will help you with it. This school has helped me be a better pianist, become more outgoing and friendly, has given me the opportunity to attend competitions against other schools. Heathcote School has truly let me give it my all. Now that I look back at my journey, I can declare without any regret that Heathcote gave me the opportunities to let my goals and wishes come true. So, as we explore tonight, I invite you to ask questions, engage in conversations, and immerse yourself in the richness that comes from Heathcote. Together, we can continue to create a nurturing and inspiring environment where every student can thrive. Thank you for joining us on this journey, and I hope you leave here tonight with a deep appreciation for what Heathcote School brings to the community and to the upcoming students of 2024. And I would like to bring up to the microphone our administrative teacher, Ms. Lewis. <laughs> Thank you to Ted as well for playing us in. Um, just so you know, it's really important to me that you hear from the students tonight. It's this, their experience that actually matters the most. So when we put this, this together tonight, I actually said to them all, why don't you write something about the school and then I'll write my speech around it. So what you're hearing is from them, it's their feelings, it's their thoughts. So, and that's important to me because ultimately they know what it's like to be a pupil here. So, I want to thank you for coming tonight. I know that as a parent and as a leader, how important and how difficult this decision is. My son is in year five and he is here tonight somewhere um, having a look around because he's also going to be making this decision very soon. So as you walk around tonight, get a feel for the school, watch your child, see how they engage, see how they interact with the pupils and the staff and the activities that we've provided tonight. And then afterwards, talk to them, how do you feel? Hear their thoughts, listen to them and before you share yours, because I know it's quite tempting to have your own, but let them speak and see how they feel. And the reason that's important is because this is a seven year journey and it has to be the right fit for your child. So I'm Sonia Close, I'm the head teacher here. This is now my sixth year um, at the school. And every year I become more invested in this place. As the deputy for four years, I work tirelessly to improve the behaviour and pastoral care. And I do truly believe that we do this very well. Over the last two years, I've spent a lot of focus in terms of really trying to develop what is going on in the classroom and ensuring that teaching and learning is of a high quality. Heathcote School is an 11 to 18 mixed community school. And my vision here is to create a school that provides young people with a safe, happy uh, and happy learning environment. I want it to challenge them, I want it to support them, and I want to ensure that they achieve their best outcomes. And we do all of that through a creative and inspiring and enriched curriculum. We have our values of encourage, challenge and succeed. And what does that mean here at Heathcote? We challenge our pupils to take pride, to work hard, to be kind, to achieve their best, to make sure they embrace feedback and show mutual respect for each other and show excellent behaviour at all times. We challenge them to push themselves, to take responsibility for their learning, to be resilient to failure and to self-regulate. And we will do all of that with care and kindness. And then the whole point of all of this is to make them successful. We want them to reach their academic potential and we want them to be caring and honest and fully committed citizens of our community. Our ethos is one of inclusion, care and support for all its learners. And at Heathcote we put learning and learners first in every aspect of school life. And it's this ethos over the years that has enabled us to secure great results year on year. This year we achieved 81% 4 plus in our English, 68% 4 plus in our maths. We got, um, uh, 18 grade nines in, in English, and that is above an A star, so that's incredible. 
Um, and, then, and then grade nines only go to the top 5% of the country. So to get 18 of them in English, we were very proud of. We got 44% of our A-level results were A star to B. And this year, we were really proud to say that two of our students went on to Cambridge. I'm now going to invite Owen to come and speak about his experience over the last six years and his future career. Uh, good evening, everybody, and thanks so much for coming tonight. So first, a little bit about me. My name's Owen. Uh, I'm one of the two senior head pupils here at Peacoat. I've been here since year seven, and this is my seventh year now. When I did my GCSEs, I achieved grades seven to nine in my subjects, and school were very, very helpful with booster sessions and revision. Now, in year 13, I have my A-level exams later on this year. I've just submitted my UCAS application with three A stars predicted to both Cambridge and LSE. So a bit more about careers at Heathcote. Every student is offered and provided support to make sure they're on the right career path for them. This year we have our career week, a week where experts in their field come into the school to talk more to the students uh, about what jobs there are out there and how they can get into them. For example, we had firms like KPMG and JP Morgan present us with assemblies, uh, which, which, sorry, which told us more about the companies and what the job entails. We also have our designated career advisor in the sixth form, and she's absolutely brilliant to make sure that every student is on part for them to achieve. We also have weekly pie sessions that enable us to get valuable information on how to apply for work experience, where we work closely with the website Unifrog uh, to make sure that we get valuable experience for our personal statements. The school also strives to take us to sixth form and the elder years on as many real business world trips, uh, which allows students to know that our certain career is really right for them. For instance, last year we visited the Zurich Insurance Offices, uh, where we go. Uh, Got to network with real professionals who gave us loads of tips on what they're really looking for at Thank you so much for listening. Thank you, Owen. Um, we're going to sit back because I have missed out Teddy. So I'm really sorry, Teddy, but I just, Teddy's going to just speak a little bit about our key values and what they mean to him. Thank you, Teddy. Heathcote's school motto are three words encourage, challenge and succeed. Members of staff encourage you to always strive for excellence. They will stretch and shape your mind in order to challenge your ideas and knowledge and challenge you to be better. Ultimately, they will help you succeed. The teachers at Heathcote are second to none in delivering fulfilling, expansive and informative learning experiences. In other words, they make learning fun and use creative methods so that the students remember what they are learning. I would like to give you another example of my experience at Heathcote that truly shaped me into the person I am today. In the same exact hall, I had my very first Year 7 parents evening, and the most memorable event occurred with a certain someone on the stage. From across the room, I had noticed that the queue to Miss Close's station had died down. So I dragged, the parents, I dragged my parents across the assembly hall. I had to hear what Miss Close had to say about me. She taught me every Friday in room H101. Science, physics, particle theory, I remember it all like it's yesterday. We sat down, a few complimentary remarks were made about my behaviour in class, and then she said, if he continues like this, we are potentially looking at eight and nines at GCSE. Those words changed my life and encouraged me to pursue my passion in science. Throughout my five years at Heathcote, I was constantly challenged, I constantly learned, and as a result, I constantly grew. My passion for science had developed and I had just finished my GCSEs. As a result, the Year 11 Leaders Assembly was next. In this assembly, I was awarded the Head Teachers Award, an, an experience I remember so fondly due to her public kind words and understanding of the struggles a deaf student faces. I was rewarded for my effort and resilience. Nothing at Heathcote goes unnoticed. I can now stand here and say that I have succeeded. With a nine in biology and eight in chemistry and physics, my journey to science has just begun. Although Miss Close is involved in my favourite memory of being encouraged, challenged and ultimately succeeding, I want to assure you that this happens up and down the school. 
having gained an additional two nines in humanities, geography and history, two edits in English literature and maths, and two sevens in sociology and English language, I hope I propose with evidence in favour of Heathcliff. I am not a one of phenomenon. There have been many success stories that have come out of this great school. Thank you so much for your time. I hope I have given you the necessary information to make an educated decision on whether to send your child to Heathcote. Once again, thank you for listening. So I take the responsibility of being a teacher very seriously. And I assure you that I will do everything I can to make sure that my, my team, along with my team, that your child has the best and most fulfilling experience at secondary school. And this is not just because it's my job to do so, but it is because I understand firsthand the impact that schooling can have on your life and your opportunities. For me, my education was incredible. It provided me with opportunities that my family could never have afforded. As a very disadvantaged child, my school provided me with a safe environment and an amazing pastoral care. As a child who struggled with learning, my teachers nurtured me and invested in me until I achieved everything that I needed for the next stage of my life. And it is this that I am driven to deliver for your child at my school. I'd now like to welcome up Mike Cashwell, who is our Chair of Governors, to talk about his experience as a governor and a parent. Thanks, Sonia. Good evening, everybody. My name is Mike Cashwell. I'm the Chair of Governors here at the Coast School. Very proud to be so. But I'm also a parent. About nine years ago, I sat in the year on that. And um, my three kids will be through this school. Um, my daughter uh, graduated from me last year, is now on the top job in the city in geospatial engineering. And both my sons have got to their first choice unit. And uh, you know, I have nothing but praise for this school. But just for my own personal reasons, me and my wife, we chose this school. When we first came here, we got this feeling, a deep cut feeling really, is that we, we love the, the support um, around the pastoral care. So, you know, at this school, you know, we have a really strict behavior policy. Things do happen, right? It's a way to get going very quickly, very efficiently. Secondly, is on inclusivity. Again, my daughter came to the school with very poor math grades, and uh, the school supported her and it worked very hard. And even into being coached, encouraged, and she ended up getting the grades she needed uh, for maths, which was which was amazing. But on the support side, the school had very robust systems, as you'd expect. Uh, and also as chair of governors, it's my job to ensure those systems get all the things updated, so I'm, I'm really focused on that area. And finally, the facilities. I mean, the, the school is amazing, right? It's a great part of Chief, but beautiful buildings, beautiful surroundings, and it, it feels new still, although it's quite a few years old now. But uh, for us, those are the four decisions that made our mind up, and uh, we'll have your own decisions, but I would say, taking the school, ask your questions, and whatever you decide, then first of all, up to you. Thank you. Um, I believe that a great school has the right balance of rules, structure, academics, and then you balance this with kindness and care, enrichment and fun. As a school, we pride ourselves on achieving this. We have an excellent curriculum that is broad and balanced, and tonight you'll get a chance to see all that we offer. I'm privileged to work alongside an amazing team of staff who are committed to giving young people the best education. Our school day is structured into five lessons with a 20 minute break, 20 minutes at form, and a 40 minute lunch. At year seven, eight, and nine, pupils have the opportunity to do two languages, four DT subjects, IT, computing, art, PE, dance, drama, and music, along with the standard humanities, geography, English, and maths. For me, ensuring that there's a real breadth in the curriculum is the most important thing. We need to make sure they can have an opportunity to test lots of different subjects, because you never know what might spark a fire for their future careers. As pupils move into Key Stage 4, that's year 10 and 11, we run a very bespoke offer. Every year we tailor our option choices to the preferences of the pupils, and this ensures that they get to do the subjects that they love. 
At Key Stage 5, that's Year 12 and 13, we order a broad range of both vocational and A-levels. And again, this means that for us, most pupils can make this a seven-year journey. In order to support our pupils, we assess them through two exam weeks, which we like to call challenge weeks. We like to set these up a little bit like the GCSE exam window, and we feel that this really helps to prepare our pupils for the final years of education and reduce stress. And that's really important. In that summer window, they'll sit nearly 40 exams, which is a considerable amount, and we have to do our job to prepare them for that. The information that we take from these challenge weeks, we then use that to help define teaching groups, exam papers, and how we can support and adapt our teaching. In year seven, when your children arrive, they'll be taught mainly in their form classes. And then after we get data and we start to understand your child, we'll then move them into sets for English, maths, and science. So our teaching and learning is based around the Rosenstein's principles. And we've developed those into what we like to call the Heathcote Pillars. In the classroom, we like to make sure that we have understanding first. Then, once they understand, we build their independence. And then, once they're independent, we take the time to go back and review so they retain that knowledge. So, I'm going to ask Lily now just to speak a little bit about what she feels it's like to be a learner at Heathcote. My name is uh, I'm a student here at Nico who started at the center now. I believe that teaching here is of high quality and teachers <coughs> like that to help assist the best they can. Two teachers, people's well being and them being able to attain their highest potential is of utmost importance. Within the school there are many facilities to help the learning. For example, the library being open for students to do homework or to study for any upcoming tests. As a year 11 student, everyone knows this is a high stress period where we need to give our all. And the school has recognised this and has placed a lot of things to help with the workload. For example, interventions where after school you can go for an hour to study for a particular subject, which is really helpful for a person like myself who can get distracted easily and neglect studying. Now onto the subject of lessons. I believe them to be structured in a way that is beneficial for students. At the start of the lesson, a teacher will introduce a new thing called a fertile question relating to the material of the lesson of the next few lessons, which will answer to the best of your ability. Once you have completed the material, you can go back to answer the question about the pen. This is useful as you're able to compare your responses and see how much you've learned in your lessons. Lessons are also enjoyable. For example, my personal favourite subject, PE, is very engaging with the GCSE student because there is a mixture of theory and practical lessons which challenge me academically and the practical lessons which challenge me physically. Lessons, are, lessons also sometimes revolve around group work, where students can focus on their team working skills. For example, English, where students <coughs> communicate with each other about ideas which then they can apply into their work. In lessons, we install ready, respect and responsible, which leaves a controlled environment in classrooms and means that students are well behaved and prepared to learn. For those who do not follow this, I've given sentences to help maintain a calm environment that is best for students to work and learn. Overall, our school allows for great student growth and learning, and it is a great choice for you. Thank you for listening. Have a good evening. Thank you, Lily. So, our teaching approach is coupled with very high expectations that our pupils will be ready, respectful, and responsible at all times. We expect them to be ready to learn, dressed in their uniform, fully equipped. We expect pupils and their families to be respectful of staff and pupils and build strong relationships so that we can support and work together on this educational journey. And finally, we expect pupils to be responsible for their learning by ensuring that they work hard, they challenge themselves in every lesson and they complete homework on time. We also want them to get involved in all of our enrichment activities to become the best that they can be. Where people can't meet our expectations, they will be encouraged and challenged and we will use the behaviour policy to help them succeed. We've worked relentlessly to improve the reputation of this school and we've done this by ensuring that we have the highest standards of behaviour and conduct. And I know many of you will have seen this on your visits here. 
For me, the safety of your child is paramount, and our structures and routines help, their, help them and ensure them to be safe. For example, at lunch, all the same year group will come through and have lunch together. This builds a sense of community, but also it means there's never that worry of who will I sit with, where are my friends, and no worries about any other older students. It also, for us, is really important that there are places in schools where I know students become quite worried about toilets, uh, break times. What have we done to make sure they feel safe? We make sure those toilets are only open at break and lunch, and that when they're open they are fully staffed. And also that only the same year group is using them at any one time. In this school, we do not tolerate people being unkind. Okay, and if it happens, we tackle it quickly and in line with what the pupil or the family want. In our recent survey of the pupils, 94% of them said they feel safe at Heathcote. We do not tolerate disruption to learning and we operate a two warnings and removal system for our lessons. But on the flip, we make sure that we have a four to one praise rate ratio. And every half term, we uh, have reward assemblies and prize events. It's really important to me that we also think about the whole child and we develop all of their individual uh, thoughts and ideas. And I do genuinely believe we've got one of the best enrichment programmes in the local area. Over the time that I've been at Hope Heathcote, we've offered pupils a minimum of three trips a year, multiple trips abroad, opportunities to take part in activities such as debate make, Jack Petchy, eco schools and so much more. Our daily enrichment programme is free and varied. And we have various uh, sports successes that you can ask our PE department about later. So I'm now going to hand over to Rebecca to talk about her experience of our enrichment offer. Good evening everyone, welcome to Heathcote School. My name is Rebecca and I'm part of the NFP Leadership Team here at Heathcote. We're going to be talking to you about enrichment slash learning opportunities here at Heathcote. My experience in the five years that I've been in this school just goes to show how quickly the years go by. And it's so nice to have some extracurricular activities after school to help relieve the stress of exams, especially since I'm in year 11. Extracurriculars include things such as the basketball, netball, volleyball, or football team after school. There is many more solo sport clubs around, for example, fun competitions for things such as table tennis, tennis, or badminton. For me, opportunities in the school have resulted in me playing for an academy level football club. This has sprung from winning major tournaments such as the Spurs West Ham and winning the County Borough tournaments for four years running now, which are all highly competitive. This is just one of the many sporting opportunities offered here at Heathcote for your child's passion. Moving away from sports, there are clubs run for things such as music, art, dance, drama, and uh, language clubs. For me, this is facilitated by love for drumming and playing piano, and through that, I'm now moving on to do my grade 4 piano exam and compare the drums at a high level as a result of this. This school pushes to put on two shows throughout the year, one which is held in the summer and the other in the winter. For example, last year, the music, dance and drama group came together and performed a play called Greece, which was a massive, massive success in our school. Language clubs consist of going to different places such as restaurants, fit for that country's cuisine, museum trips and many more. I hope you consider sending your child to Heathrow. Thank you for listening. the school for us is developing young people into leaders. And I'm going to ask Gwen now to talk a little bit about her experience as a head pupil and leadership. Hello everyone. I hope you're all having a lovely evening and enjoying touring our wonderful school. My name is Gwen and I'm a year 11 and a head pupil here at Heathrow. I want to use this opportunity to tell you a little bit about the student body, the rest of my head pupil team and a little bit about the environment here. Our job in the pupil leadership is to ensure that the voices of the students are heard and taken into account, to make the school a safe and comfortable environment for everyone. I'm very proud to be part of the student body here. The commitment to making the school a better place year after year is truly incredible. 
My journey here has been absolutely indescribable. And my work as a head pupil has really shown how much time and effort is put into the quality of the education and the overall well-being of the students here. I think I speak for everyone with me today when I say that the, they, the school have been encouraging and supportive through every one of our years here. I hope I get the chance to talk to some of you later and I'd be more than happy to answer any questions you may have about our school. I hope you have a wonderful rest of your evening. Thank you all. Thank you, John. So we spend a lot of time focusing here on student well-being and mental health. It's really important to us. Um, and we feel it's one of our biggest assets in the school. Uh, we have um, lots of provisions to support with that. Um, sorry, I'm just losing my mind a bit. Um, sorry. So the other thing that we spend a lot of time and a lot of money on in this school is really supporting our students with SEM. We have invested in a, a pastoral team to make sure that our pupils with additional needs get everything that they need. We also, within this school, if you're not aware, have a specialist provision for pupils who are deaf. And I'd now like to ask Anaya, as one of our deaf students, to come and talk about her experience of her sense of support whilst at Heathcote. Good evening, I'm Anaya and I'm one of the Deputy Associate Head Pupils at Heathcote. In this fantastic school, we are proud to provide a special form of support for students who have special or additional needs through their academic year. There are two departments that specialise in these the Special Educational Needs Department, or SCND, and the Deaf Support Department, or the DFC. I'm glad to be able to have the opportunity to talk about both the SCND and the great DFC that we come to offer. The Deaf Support Department has a great teacher of the deaf, followed by communication support workers who work with the deaf students. I stand before you all today as part of our high activity achieving deaf students and one of the leaders of the pupil leadership, which is such a great achievement for someone like me. Throughout the time I've been here, I've been given wonderful privileges that some schools can't afford to give. Whether it be communication support workers, relationships in between all seven years, or one to one sessions with the teacher of the deaf, he quote offers it with us. To further assist our students, we have samples that can help with relay information clearly and the details to the students without any disruption or background noise. <coughs> we also have an audiologist and speech and language therapist that come in once a week. There is also a lab space where people can come if they need it. It is open to all SEND, not just to the SEND. Finally, it's been a pleasure seeing you all today. I'm not a person that's quite familiar with speaking in front of so many people. I know it's a difficult choice. It was difficult for me too. I made the right choice. Hopefully you do too. Yeah. I mean, I'm not nervous from her. After the first one, she had a little cry. It's just the emotions and how much it meant. And just so proud of you seeing you up here today. Thank you. Sorry, I still get really nervous. Sorry for losing my way there, but it really means a lot to me, this, and it really means a lot to see all our parents here. Um, so apologies for that. Um, so I just want to talk a little bit now about um, our counsellors and our therapists. We've invested a lot in this school to make sure that we've got counsellors, therapists, key workers for your children. And the reason that's important to me is because mental health services out there are stretched to the limit. So we try really hard to make sure we've got that in-house so that we can help and support your children if they come across a very difficult time and they need that help. So I'm not going to say any more about it, but I'm going to hand over to Roisin just to talk a little bit about her experience of the mental health support at Heathcote. Hello, uh, my name is Roisin Daly. A bit about me, I've been at the school for six years now. Uh, I study English language, psychology and history at A level, and I'm currently the other senior head pupil here at Heathcote School in Sixth Form College. I'm here to talk to you tonight about the mental health and the school support that the school offers. Mental health is an issue that prevails in our youth strongly. Highlighted by the constant development of technology, mental health issues are becoming more recognised than ever. And at this school, we make it a priority to identify when our students are struggling. At this school, we do anything and everything we can to aid our students through these early years of their lives. Some services that the school offer are therapy, high lessons, which include many sessions that discuss mental health, 
and weekly Wednesdays, which is a lesson that's conducted weekly in form times to ensure that information about mental health is relayed effectively. I know that whenever I have, it, I have had issues with my mental health, I've always had a member of staff to confide in. Alongside this, we have a large staff board for safeguarding that will always be present to help in any situation that they're going through, no matter how big or small it is for to be. Mental health and pastoral support is one of the things I've watched grow and blossom throughout my six years at Heathcote School. It is one of the factors that I appreciate our school for implementing because mental health is so incredibly important but detrimental to overlook. And so by having that extra knowledge and support given by the school, there's less pressure on the students that are struggling to get help. I've seen firsthand the efforts that the school has put in to ensure positive well-being for all of our students, which is incredibly wonderful to observe. Thank you. So finally, uh, just to talk a little bit about the transition process. I think we feel uh, that we've actually got a very good process to help your child settle into secondary life. And one of the things we think really helps with this is every single summer we set up a summer school which is free. So all the children who uh, receive a place at Heathcote are then offered a place on that summer school. And during that time, we do team building and events to enable them to be able to settle and build friendships. So that some of that pressure and stress is alleviated over the summer. Um, you will also be invited in for transition days, parent meetings, coffee mornings, and all sorts. And all of this is to help uh, develop that relationship. So, tonight, if you leave and you're still unsure, then please come and book onto one of our morning tours so you can see the school in action. And I know that the transition can be hard sometimes from primary to secondary, and sometimes I think it's probably hardest for the parents. But that's why here at Heathcote we offer that free breakfast club in the morning, we offer free activities after school, and that free on-site, we've also got a free, uh, an on-site paid provision for childcare before and after school. And I know that's often a big worry, going from childcare, breakfast and school club to nothing in year seven. But we have that facility here for you. So, to finish up, not only do we have an amazing pastoral system, but we also deliver an incredible education. I'm confident that you'll be happy with your choice of Heathcote. I live in the local community, and it's a community that I'm very proud of. And I want to make this school an integral part of this community. I love this school, and I know you will too. So I hope you have a wonderful evening and get everything you need to make that decision. And good luck. Thank you. Well, if you want to pull yourselves around the building or remain here if you'd like to talk about it.